So welcome to Roo Sports. This video is about a couple different grip options that we have when we play pickleball. We might not have known that there's a couple different options that we can choose from. We're gonna go over them in this nice and quick video for you here today. So the very first grip that we're used to using, likely, is the continental grip. So that's the grip where we're just holding the paddle exactly up and down like a hammer. This gives us nice and flexibility on the forehand. It gives us nice flexibility in the backhand. It's going to be very nice and comfortable and is definitely where we should start when we start playing pickleball. And we can play our entire pickleball career this way as well too. But I wanted to show you some other grip options that can change our game a little bit and might be a little bit more comfortable for you. So the very next one is a Western, Western forehand. So we're taking this continental grip and just like a compass, we're going to go left. So we're going to move it to the left as if we're going west, just slightly. So this angle now is going to give us the ability to have a little bit more topspin on the forehand. So by just brushing up slightly on the ball, not being wristy, but a slight brush up, we're going to get a little bit more time for the ball to contact the carbon fiber face, get that grit and that texture, and be able to get rolled down to our opponent's feet where we want it to be. What I also really like about this grip is actually the backhand. So by taking a lot of backhand dinks and going from like a clock from nine to three, so just pushing through the ball like this, now there's some natural height with the paddle being a little bit open. That creates a little bit of a higher trajectory on the ball while giving again that backspin and that slice without needing to overcreate it with our wrist. That gets us risky and that makes sure that we're not gonna be as consistent. So try this for aggressive forehands, but also try this for consistent backhands as well. So the next grip that we can choose from is actually going to be the Eastern grip. So if we go back to Continental here, Eastern, so we're just gonna turn it to the right, is here. So now we have essentially kind of a Western forehand, but for our backhand. So this one's really good for getting extra topspin on our backhands. It's something that a lot of times we'll move to a little bit when we see if we have time for a high ball, that we're gonna be able to take out of the air and we wanna be able to pull up on, again, without having to be really, really wristy, a nice natural pull up here with this Eastern grip will allow us to take a ball from a little bit below the net and maybe attack the player in front of us with a slight roll. Forehand wise, we're gonna be a little bit more sliced here, but just again, experiment with some of these grips and see if it changes your game. So thanks again for tuning into Roo Sports. This has been a nice quick video on the differences between continental grip a Western grip and an Eastern grip. Experiment with it. You might have to adjust your trajectory just a little bit. Be patient with it because it might be a little bit funky, but you might find that you like a variation of one of these that could really, really transform your game. So thanks again for tuning into Roo Sports and hopping on in with us. Links to our pickleball fitness program down below as well too. Link to my office as a full-time financial advisor with Edward Jones as well, found down below. Again, if you like any of the paddles you saw in this video, Please go to roosports.com and consider purchasing if you find something that you like. We'd love to have you on the team. So thanks again for tuning in to Roo Sports. Next time you see us around, hop on in.